Hey guys, it's me again. Now, I, I wanted to make this video a couple days ago, but I haven't gotten the chance until now. But basically, we did it. A hundred subscribers. This is something that I've dreamed of for years upon years. It's like last Thursday, uh, I was just sitting around playing some games on my TV. And I look at my phone, and I get a YouTube comment from one of my good friends, Jonathan Zhang, and he told and he uh, tells me, "Congrats on getting a hundred subs." And I'm like, w "What is he talking about? I I only have like nine nine ninety four subscribers." So so I check um my uh, YouTube channel to make sure, and to my surprise, I had a hundred subscribers. I couldn't believe my eyes. Like, it was so bewildering to me that I really didn't know what to do or really say. But, well, yeah, we've finally done it. We, uh, we've made it there. This is something I've dreamed of for years upon years. Like, to give you some background, um, I originally had a YouTube channel before this that I made in June of 2014. And, well, there were some things that I wanted to do with it, but... Um, by 2015, I had this series of videos called Andrew Plays, where basically I just, um, take a bunch of games and, uh, play them with my own commentary on them. They weren't really that well made, but, well, some people seemed to like them, and I made a good amount of them. But, unfortunately, disaster would strike on February 14th, 2016, when a bunch of false copyright claims would be slammed on my channel and I would get three strikes and end up losing my channel that day. That day is probably one of the worst days of my entire life because I was distressed. I, I was totally destroyed by that. Like all the things that I had done up to that point completely gone forever. And I, and I, and back then I didn't have backups of these videos. Like the, I didn't like, like, a lot of most of the videos that I made on the original channel, they're all gone. They're, they're no longer available, unless by some miracle someone like downloaded them or something. But keep in mind, I only had somewhere between twenty and thirty subscribers on that original channel by the time it got taken down. So barely anybody knew about me at that point. Like there were a couple people who saw my videos, but otherwise, no one really bothered to watch them. So, yeah. And as a matter of fact, because of that uh, channel takedown, I stopped using YouTube for months and months. Like, I was so distressed, I just stopped watching YouTube videos for so long. And what, but eventually, I picked myself back up and I created a new um, channel in January of 2017, a year, about a year later. And well, I tried starting to make videos again, cautiously trying not to get myself any strikes. And well, so far, I haven't gotten any copyright strikes. I've gotten dozens of copyright claims, but none of them were strikes, which is good, which means I'm, I'm doing a good job. At least they're not taking down my channel. They're just taking my money. But even then, I don't really make I don't make money on these videos. These, this is just a hobby that I do. This is a passion thing. But anyway... Like, I started up the second channel, or this channel, rather, in 2017, but I never really had a direction with it. Like, I wanted to do things, but I never really, um, really knew what I wanted to do specifically, because I didn't know how to do a lot of sort of things. So I just uploaded whatever I felt like making, like the Chef Boy RD video and other silly little videos that I just make. And well, that's the way it was for about a year and a half until last year, September, it was uh, August of 2018. Summer was almost over and well, I was sitting around with my brother and we were thinking to ourselves, what, what could we do? Like, and then, and then we just, and then I decided something like something that I would finally do something that I've been hoping to do for, for so many years, like something that I thought I'd never do but always wanted to make my own YouTube poops. I've been watching YouTube poops for years up to that point, but, and I've always wanted to make my own. 
but I never could. I didn't know about editing software. I didn't know about video editing at all. All I just knew was how to operate a camera and do other dumb shit. But at that point, I realized that in order to make that a reality, I had to learn. So what I did was I went onto my computer, I opened up iMovie, and I tried screwing around with um, some of the things in the videos. And using some things from online, I was able to figure out how to how to copy clips, how to split clips, how to put transitions and titles. And well, by September, like by early September, I had made my first YouTube poop at Ed and Nettie do things, I guess, um, which was an uh, YouTube poop of the Ed and Nettie episode, Dawn of the Eds. And well, it wasn't it wasn't all that good looking back on it, but I was pretty proud of it at the time. And for my first YouTube poop, I think I did all right. Like they're definitely um, worse um, first YouTube poops, but they're also better first YouTube poops. So I guess I was in the middle ground, but from there I knew what I wanted to do. So from there on, I started making more YouTube poops. And, and well, I got a lot of, and a lot of more people started subscribing to my channel. They, they really loved my YouTube poops. I got better, my style improved. And by May of 2019, I had switched to Final Cut Pro, which is like, which is um, Apple's uh, main um, uh, video editing software that they sell. And well, that was a lot better because I could do more things with it than I could on iMovie, like keyframing and other, and among other things. Mainly keyframing. That that that's the big one, the big thing that I noticed from switching from iMovie to Final Cut Pro. But another thing that happened is that I started doing video game reviews. It's another thing that I've always wanted to do. I've been seeing game reviews on YouTube about as long as I've been seeing YouTube poops, and I always wanted to re review games. As a matter of fact, for years I've always imagined myself um, reviewing games. And doing cool things with that, but I was never able to make those things a reality until December when I decided, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm maybe I could make some game reviews on the side along with these YouTube poops. And well, that's what I did. And and well, now um, I've made like uh, I've made uh, five reviews, and I'm still working on. And currently, I'm working on one for Pepper Two for the ColecoVision. I'm hoping to get that out by the end of this year, but it's coming along pretty well. And well, it's not, they're not, the reviews aren't as good as I hope them to be, but I, I do try. But probably the biggest thing that happened to me in this past year was that I got back into sports stacking. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, I used to be big into sports stacking. I actually first learned about it when I was in second grade, sometime between 2011 and 2012, in my, in my gym class. And from then on, um, I saw it on YouTube and I was like, holy crap, this is so cool. I want to do it myself. So I begged my parents to get it, to get me some speed stacks. And eventually in December of 2012 for Christmas, my aunt got me my very first set of speed stacks, um, JW oranges. And well, I didn't even get, I didn't even get a stack mat. I just had the cups in the uh, instructional DVD. That, that was all I had, but I still practiced a lot. I got really good. The thing is, I, I thing was, I never went to any tournaments because I could never find any near me, and I never thought that it was possible for me to um, go all the way to another state and get a hotel. That was just never something I thought that was possible back then because I was much younger than I am now. So I never went to any tournaments, and because of that, I my interest in sports stacking was lost on me by 2015. So I never really went anywhere with it. But earlier this year in February, um, I um, I saw a bunch of sports stacking videos on YouTube and I was like, uh, like, like I remembered how much fun I had with it. And I, and I still had all my things. I, I never um, got rid of any of my sports stacking equipment from back in the day. So I, got somehow just got back into the groove of things. And by March, I was in my very first tournament and I had already made some good friends, Ian Bruce, Jonathan Zhang, Vincent Grillo, etc. Like, like I, I really wish that I would have not stopped doing this all those years ago, but I'm 
But nonetheless, I'm very glad that I was able to get back into the groove of things because really it's the tournaments that keep you coming back. And well, and I've learned especially with that from the uh, Baltimore tournament from uh, last Saturday. I mean, the Saturday before last. So yeah, a lot of things have improved in my life in this past year, and I'm very happy how things turned out. Like... I'm now making YouTube poops. I'm now sports tagging again, and I'm doing uh, reviews. So things have gotten much better for me. And now we've reached 100 subs. I said earlier this year that I wanted to reach 100 subs before the end of the year, and, well, we did it, guys. So really, at the end of it all, I could only say one thing to you guys. Thank you so freaking much. You guys, you guys are the reason why I have motivation to do this. Honestly, because without you, then there's really no point of making these other than just for my own personal entertainment. But I want to make things that you guys want to see. I want to put things out there that people like to watch and put things out there that I like to make and watch myself. And I've gotten so good that even I go back to watch a lot of the things that I make, which is really something you really want to do. Because ultimately... The end goal of making a video is to make something that you'd want to see and something that you would enjoy. That's the ultimate lesson in all this. So thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers, and I'm hoping for another 100 more, maybe even more after that. We don't know. All I can say at this point is we can only go, the only place we can go from here is farther up. Thank you guys for watching my videos and subscribing. More videos will be available soon. I'm hoping to get out. Um, there are a couple videos I'm hoping to get out by the end of the year. So stay tuned for those. And if you haven't um, done so already, so please, please subscribe because you don't know what you're missing until it happens. All right. I got to go now. This is Andrew Ambrose. And as always, I'll catch you later. Peace, guys.